that's iron firstly look when I lift it up the signal starts to break away but if you're down like that hear it that that's telling you it's large iron now if I put the dual tone on listen to the the kind of disease in the in the tone listen That's large iron. Pay attention. I'm going to move it to the edge of the signal. See the blue? See the blue come in? Sometimes it doesn't even come in with any audio. That's telling you it's large deep iron. This is iron. Watch when I go to the edge again, watch. And listen. Hear it? And look at the, uh, the meter, blue. Let's dig it. Iron junk, there we go large iron nice on the center what's this hear it and now you see the blue come in flat iron let's get it out get it there we go look at that this is iron hear it The machine doesn't like it on the edge. If I put the dual tone on, listen, listen. Hear it? Let's dig it. You know, though. No you can have people watching this going, well, on my manticore, you know, I don't hear the iron. Yeah, but you're not going to be getting the unmasking that these machines get, you know. Um, I don't really want to get into that, any sort of discussion where um, people can take it the wrong way and then, you know, everyone gets nasty again. All I'm doing is demonstrating and explaining my interpretation of, of using my Nexus detectors. Okay, this is this is large junk. I know it is, but I'm going to dig it because, yeah, with these machines, I only dig iron if I want to. Bloody hell, man. Take note, this is with zero, zero threshold, um, zero sensitivity. There we go, there it is. There. Large flat. It was telling me. Even though you got the high tone, it was telling me. So I'm actually running my disc really low. Iron. Let's dig it. There we go, look, down there. 
Oh, I see you, Chad. I'm not, not going to take that out. This is Iron. There you go, look at that. Chunky bit. It was telling me. This is iron as well. There you go, look at that. Big piece. This is iron. Right there, it's telling me, put dual tone on. Don't like it. Very, very displeased the V2 is. Yeah, this is deep, man. Well, you know, it's deep to the river. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get down to it. Nah, that's deep iron, man. Which is what I said. Now, if I get the detector... Hear it? Right on the edge there, I'm telling you. And you get the mixed blue and red. That's deep iron. I can't get it out. This is iron. I mean, you can tell that by lifting the coil up, but on either edge, you get the blue, you get that kind of clip. You hear it? It's kind of almost like a distortion. An analog distortion. Probably won't be able to get to it. Nah, again, I think that's actually it. Yeah, that's it. That ain't coming out. That's massive. This is uh, Mayan. There we go. I can tell this is iron by the um, the distortion within the audio. But watch this. I'm going to dig it. I'm going to raise the coil just to when it phases out, and then I'm going to turn the coil around like that. See, look blue. That's another way that I ID it. So let's dig it out. Oh, unless that's it. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Look. Rusty nut. On ferrous tail. I can see it down there. It's a fishing lead, but you've got smoothness in the audio, okay? And as I draw back, there's no disease. I call it dis ease. Um, now if I put the multi-tone or, or dual tone on, do it, listen, nothing, no low tone comes in on the perimeter of the coil. And that tells me that it's a non-ferrous target. Now, you can turn around and go, well, what does a masked target sound like? Um, it's hard for me to explain, but if you go back through my V2 playlist, I identify loads of masked targets on the River Thames in my heavy iron area. It's an audio feel thing, it's an intuitive thing, I can't really explain it. You know? I've explained, look at that man. I've explained about these machines. Um, you, you can't set an, any Nexus machine up 
to mimic a digital machine, okay? So if you want to crank your discrimination up so you hear no iron, then don't buy a Nexus. Now, when you start to understand what deep iron sounds like, uh, or large iron, you know, flat iron and all of that, um, it allows you to run your disc level lower, meaning that the machine will unmask really bloody well, okay? Now, if you want an easy hunt, yeah, if you want an easy hunt and you, you don't want to think about it, this isn't the, the right detector for you. If you learn it, um, you know, if you learn the V2, you learn the V3, then it, it will become an easy hunt. And then from that, you benefit from, from the machine's ability to unmask and, and punch deep and do all of those things. But this is the trade-off, you see, with Nexus. It doesn't operate like a digital machine. And I know there's a lot of people out there going like, well, with my Deus, with my Manticore, you know, with my Nocta, I don't get all of these false signals and you oh it just cuts out eye and yeah that's very true i completely agree but you're not going to get the depth on those machines um as you do with a nexus you're not going to get the unmasking um and the separation as you do on a nexus and you're not going to get the correct dim um discrimination at depth that you get on a nexus you see so you've got to kind of weigh all of that up you know, because you can turn around and go, well, it's crap with large iron because it's just triggering off of it. But it's like, if you know how to ID it, it's, it's not a problem. And we've got to remember that the Thames, like where I'm hunting here, it's absolutely brutal with, with iron, con, you know, iron content. You've got deep, ginormous pieces of iron. Like, look at this. Check this out. You've got stuff like this, right? Look at it. You got stuff like that buried. Do you know what I mean? It's like this is what you're dealing with. So it's this is too an extreme. Um, I'm not sure if the tide is going to go low enough today for me to start to pull some, you know, maybe a few coins and things. I just have to see. But the um, the clocks have gone back. You see, so it's going to get darker quicker. But we'll see. I might be able to find a few few interesting things. But you know what? I'm having fun anyway, so I don't really care. <laughs>